The bridges of Königsberg is a notable historical problem in mathematics. In 1735, Leonard Euler solved the problem and came up with the idea of graph theory and topology. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? The bridges were built in 1255 and connected four different landmasses. The idea started by people going on and walk, going on walks on Sunday and creating a prop game out of it. The aim of the game was to try and start at one point and cross over all the bridges and get back to the same point without going over any bridge twice. After many days of trying, it didn't work. So the villagers tried to get back to any point. This didn't work either. In 1942, during, during World War II, the bridges were destroyed. This, this prevented mathematicians such as ourselves going there and marvelling in its beauty. To help him solve the problem, Euler gave each of the landmasses a different letter. He represented each of these by a vertex, A, B, C and D. Because there are two bridges between A and B, he drew two edges between those vertices. He did the same for the bridges between B and C, drew one edge for the bridge between B and D, and then did the same for the bridges from A to D and from C to D. This gives us a graph to represent the problem. Euler founded three types of graphs, which are called Eulerian, Semi-Eulerian and Non-Eulerian. Eulerian graphs can be drawn without going back over any edges. They can still have the same start and end vertex. Semi-Eulerian graphs can start and end at different vertices, but can still be drawn without retracing any edges. Non-Eulerian graphs are different because they cannot be drawn without going back over any edges. As we can see, the bridges of Konigsberg appears to be non-Eulerian. We need to look at what makes a graph Eulerian, semi-Eulerian and non-Eulerian. This is to do with the order of the vertices. Why is this shape Eulerian? Let's look at the order. The order of a vertex is the amount of edges coming from it. So, this vertex would have an order of 2. Looking at a graph, the ver this vertex has order 4. This vertex also has 4. In fact, all of them have 4. Because all the vertices have even order, the graph is Eulerian. The reason for this is that when we go through any vertex in the middle of the trail, the order will go down by 2. At our start, the starting vertex goes down by 1 to 3. Then at each vertex, we go down by 2. So, this goes to 2... This goes to 2, this goes to 2, and this goes to 1. We keep taking off 2 uh, of our vertices until we are just left with the odd number at our starting vertex, which we then get rid of when we finish. In a semi-Eulerian graph, we start and end at different vertices. Looking at the orders again, they are 3, 3, 4, 4, 2. And this makes it semi-Eulerian as it has two odd vertices, which must be the start and end points. The other vertices will be used in the middle of the trail. So we'll go down to two zeros in twos. At the start, the odd vertex becomes even. So when we go back through it, it can go down to zero. And we get left with the vertex of order 1 our end point, which we get rid of when we finish our trail. Like we said previously, the bridges of Königsberg is non-Eulerian, but why? Let's look at the order of the vertices. We get 3, 5, 3 and 3. There are too many odd vertices. We have seen that we can only use odd vertices as our start and end points, so we will always have some graphs left over. If we use C as our start and then go, D goes left with 1, so we need to finish there. But if we go through A, that goes to 1 as well, so we need to finish there too. And carrying on, B goes down to 1 as well. So we have three places we need to finish, which is impossible. We could make the bridges of Konigberg work by changing the bridge from B to D into two bridges. Now the graph looks like this. And the order of only two vertices are odd, giving us our start and end points. So the graph has become semi-Eulerian. There are many adapters to Eulerian graphs, like directed graphs. Directed graphs essentially constrict your freedom of choosing which way you want to go. For example, you can't get from A to B if you're only allowed to go from B to A. So you would have to turn the arrow around. The difference between the graphs is that, in, in the Eulerian graph, each vertex has the same number of in-degrees as out-degrees. Although, in the semi-Eulerian, one vertex has one extra in-degree and one extra out-degree. All edges coming out of each vertex need to be even, therefore the undirected graph needs to be Eulerian. Except for the first vertex you start off with, every other vertex in the middle of the trail will have the same number of in-degree paths as out-degree paths, because every time you go into a vertex you have to come out.